Hey, it's PJ, and today I will be drawing Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, if you want me to draw any other characters or favorite actors or actresses, singers, well, anybody, uh, be sure to request it in the comment section down below. And just like Obi-Wan here, who was um, requested by a lovely subscriber, you could also get one of your requests picked out as well. I have tons of other sketches that I've done uh, for this year, but if there are some new ideas, I would be more than welcome to picking out some of those ideas. But without further ado, the topic for today is Obi-Wan Kenobi. He is from Star Wars, and to be quite honest with you, I am so I semi know about Star Wars. I mean, I, I watched one of the recent movies with my boyfriend, um, but I can't, I can't even lie and tell you like I'm a hardcore like Star Wars fan. So I thought it was necessary to bring uh, a, at least a semi pro in to talk about and give some of his uh, ideas of, uh, you know, how he feels about Obi Wan. So. Ladies and gentlemen, my boyfriend, Kyle. Why, hello there. Yep, so, Kyle, um, tell us, tell us about Obi. Oh, um, <laughs> Obi. <laughs> I never heard anyone call him that. So, Obi-Wan was a Padawan or Qui-Gon Jinn, and he was also the Jedi, the, one of the main Jedi that led in the Clone Wars, whose Padawan was uh, Anakin Skywalker, and... He led many famous battles and basically won the Republic many victories that was crucial for the Republic victory for the Clone Wars. And but later on in the war his Padawans turn to the dark side and becomes Dark Vader and Obi-Wan has to battle him to save the Republic. And the battle ensues where he cut down his paddle one and left in a volcano, burned to death. Almost. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> um, later on in his life, he trained one of the uh, Luke Skywalker, who became one of the best Jedi Master ever lived. And yeah, his influence in Star Wars is pretty much legendary with he also cracks a lot of jokes in his time so makes him one of the best tactician in Star Wars yeah awesome um if you guys are enjoying the video so far be sure to hit that subscribe button for me and also if you really really like it hit that bell because then it will notify you anytime that I make any uploads such as this or other characters and people that you also want me to draw. Um, again, you can request like anybody and anyone on the planet. There's 7 billion people on the planet. Well, at least I think relatively. Anywho. Maybe. But, right. <laughs> but. Yeah, that just goes to show there are a lot of options that I can draw out and it would be awesome to get to know more about these people. So, honestly, that's pretty interesting about Obi-Wan. Like, on a, f f well, from a person who looks outside in as far as Star Wars goes, um, <laughs> I've always kind of seen all of them to be somewhat the same if I'm being honest and I look more into like aesthetics just personally speaking mm -hmm. and I've always seen like culturally they have like certain things aesthetically about the movie that I, f I found really intriguing man I wish I could think of who that Shirliza Moe Shirliza Moe I will link her video in the description box below she basically talks about in detail how I particularly feel about Star Wars and not necessarily that I don't even like Star Wars because to say that would be awful because I just watched the movie um but I did notice um that there were underlying 
cultural things about Star Wars that I felt as though it wasn't really being talked about when it came to is it the producers that yeah did, did? producers yeah like it was just I don't know and it seemed to be slightly controversial for my taste um, which is the reason why I didn't really get into it as long as I did because anytime I made a reference to say like well actually this is from this culture I would get like a really hardcore like Star Wars quote unquote Star Wars fan being like you don't know what you're talking about and blah 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 and I would just I'd be like I don't know man like look I'm just giving my opinion like what do you think I just think that uh, there's just too much hate just love the film and respect the culture they taken from yeah well that is pretty much all that we I well, at least I have to say but you you good I'm good yeah thanks for having me oh no problem well anyways the you know the things that I usually use to draw my piece is uh, graphite pencils I use an electric eraser along with the manual eraser and I also use an exacto knife to sharpen my pencils just like usual but if you want to see more details on the tools that I use along with knowing more about Obi-Wan Kenobi put in the comment section down below until then thank you guys for watching my video and uh, see you later